Uh, <laughs> wife's family is a bunch of dramatic babies. Oh, God. You're the baby. Here we go. Hey, Bill, I'm sick of this election. I hope Trump wins. I know he's a jerk, but I hate Hillary, and I think Bernie is a nice guy without a clue. He says a lot of great things, but he's going to raise taxes. He talks about making college free, but his taxes will make it hard. Nothing is free. That, yeah, that's never going to happen. But, but nothing, you know, free health care. It's not, it's not free. Like, yeah. Somebody's got to fucking pay for it. He talks about making college free, but his taxes will make it harder for people like me to pay my student loans. I make 95 grand a year. I have a kid, 100 grand in student loans between me and my wife. We live comfortably. But if you take another 2500 to $4,000 from me a year, I will feel it. Yeah, definitely. I'm already only netting 60. What is the fuck is all of this? Yeah, what's the point? The family is a bunch of dramatic babies. All right, blah, 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 blah. Um, okay, so we're getting, to, we're getting to his family here somewhere. Okay. I'm not opposed to giving money to help people who need it, but when is enough enough? A trillion dollars on dumb shit every year and you need more from me? Fuck off, Bernie. I love how he's blaming Bernie. You know, it, Bernie didn't create the fucking situation. Um, he's trying to get us out of it, I guess. I don't know if it's going to work. I don't think, I mean, I don't know if people will work with the guy, but. Oh, God, what a fucking decision this year. Um, so I make this point to my wife, my wife's family. I didn't yell. I didn't say fuck off, Bernie. I just said, I don't think we, the people, should have to give more money if they're wasting the money they already get. Well, my wife's family lost their shit. They said that I'm selfish and that if I vote for Trump, I'm endorsing hate and greed and fascism. Uh, really? Question mark. They endorsed Obama, and I have a problem with him hatefully blowing up kids and wedding parties with drones. Why doesn't that make them hateful? Uh, they then went on to talk about for 30 minutes about hate and how there's, they were scared about what would happen to the country and they're scared about how children will grow up in a country with, and I quote, Hitler minus the concentration camps. I told them that comparing an egomaniac to Hitler is unfair to the victims of the Holocaust. It trivializes the actual evil of Hit Hitler in embodied. Her mother and father were both taken aback and said that my way of thinking could potentially be dangerous to their grandchildren. What? Uh -oh. Period. The fuck. Period. Is going. Period. On. Period. Well, you dope. Yeah. You fucking opened up your I know. big fucking you mouth about so politics. You so dumb to talk about politics. No, he isn't. He's young. He doesn't shit. know. That's Well, What's, now you know. Yeah, and this how did you why, learn? How did you learn? And by, how did I learn? By bringing it up. And by doing that, yeah. Thing. This is the so deal. So that's fair. But yeah, you know you can't talk about politics and religion and shit like that. Those are. I'm going to say it got, it got really heated yeah. right before they said that shit. Well, you can't. And also, you just... <laughs> You can't, I don't know, you gotta be, if you really are going to vote for Trump, I just, <laughs> I think there's only certain sections of the United States where you could say that, where you'll get a, yeah, I get it, oh, well, tell me more about your opinion. I feel like if you say, you know what, fuck this, I'm voting for Trump, most people are gonna be like, are you fucking kidding me? So I'm not surprised at that, but. No, yeah, I actually you really... got a lot of shit when, when I, I was, I made fun of him when, uh, you know, I got some shit for it. For making fun of Trump? Yeah. From who? People who support Trump. Oh, well, okay, fine. Yeah, they, yeah, believe it or not, there's people that I, support. I know. I know. I he know. has a lot more than I thought. Remember when it, he was first talking about running and we were both like, this is never going to happen. This is a joke. This is ridiculous. And now here we are, and he's like the only Republican left standing. So, I mean, I guess I underestimated him. Yeah, he's like the, the Lester Republican City. Party. He's like the Lester City of, of poli politicians. Um, but here's the thing, so though. I also family... think, but I think like... You know, Hillary Clinton is the fucking devil because she's acting like she gives a fuck. And she's, you know, she's one of those Bilderberg people. I don't like her. I like Bernie. Out of all of them, I like Bernie Sanders. I just don't think anybody's going to fucking work with him. Well, oh. the California primary is coming up, so he's he's not throwing in the towel Bernie, yet. Bernie. Well, we gotta, I have to, you know we something? Gotta, we got to vote in the primary. I have to vote we for a guy. I, I have to vote for a person that I feel is actually truly gives a shit 
about regular people. And, yeah. and that would be him, whether he's going to be successful or not. And I know what a lot of people are saying. Like, oh, you fucking vote for him. You're going to put Trump in office. <laughs> I've always voted for the fucking third wheel every fucking goddamn time. Well, when the primary happens, we got to vote for him. That's the only way that he'll stand Listen, I don't have to do anything that you say. Okay. But I'll, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. So basically, his, this guy's in-laws do you know what we just did? hate him. Do you know now. what we just did? What's that? We just did what this guy did. Which is what? We just fucking talked politics. And gave endorsements to Bernie Sanders. We shouldn't have done that. I still haven't made up my mind that I'm going to do that. Why are we – we're giving endorsements just by talking about it? By saying that you're going to do it. Well, that's how I feel. We're like that guy that – we're like those those people that you see on Facebook and they I'm go, not, hey, do you know me? I, I pretend to be a doctor on a soap <laughs> opera and I think this is who you should vote for. I apologize for that, people. I, I, I try not to say that. Eventually, yeah, no, eventually not, it was going to come out. We're not endorsing out. anybody. We're – well, let's just leave it. I'll that. tell you what, I'm endorsing <laughs> a nice fucking cold Budweiser when I sit down to watch Game 5. That's what so I endorse. So what, what does he want to know? He's just sort of like, what the hell? Now my now my in-laws don't want me to have children with my wife because they think I'm evil and they're, they're gonna, I'm going to raise little evil Trump supporters. My thing children. about Trump is his fucking lack of compassion for fucking people. When you sit there and say, take his coat. Yeah. You're like riling people up like that well, was of course. just he says the most he says really really awful things but the thing i like about him is he lets me know that they actually count the votes because no super rich people want that fucking guy and i always thought for years my conspiracy theory is like they don't count these fucking things they just oh it's pretty fucking close and they put the money on both horses and then they're fucking fine but uh the fact that he's actually doing well he's speaking to a lot of people out there needy i uh He's going to build a wall, and he's going to have the people he's walling in pay for it. I'm telling you, he's talking mad shit. I don't know. I feel like I, all those years of watching The Apprentice and The Celebrity Apprentice are now coming back to when bite me. When he tried me, to find a CEO for a company that doesn't exist? It's all coming back to bite me in the ass. I've been supporting him this whole entire time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm partly to blame for this bullshit. <laughs> So what is this kid saying? Well, look, saying? he can't be a what complete is, moron. What is, what is this kid saying? What is his point? He just is. No, he's just saying what what the fuck. So I was we just. Well, you will not talk about politics anymore around your in-laws. I'll yeah. I'll tell you that much. But then he said, looking forward to seeing you in Dublin. Myself and some friends are, will be coming from Belfast. Well, I'm going to be doing Belfast too. So you, you don't are? even. Yeah, you don't even need to do that. 